Hello everyone, welcome and thank you for tuning in to my channel. I am Jazz Saimani and for today's video I will be showing you how it is that I made that graduation cap topper that you saw on the um, on the thumbnail and made you click on this video. But before we get started, let me just remind you at that not to forget to like to give me a like actually give me a like in case you like this video or find it informative and if you're not yet my subscriber i invite you to subscribe to my channel and um if you have any questions i'm always here to help you so by all means don't uh, hesitate to ask i'm always here to help you okay so let's get started to the video This is my graduation cap that I will be using as a sample. And um, what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and set my Cricut, got, got a square on my Cricut, went to, uh, went to shapes, then got a square and set my square at 9.3 by 9.3. After I already had my square at 9.3, I went ahead and went to shapes again. I got a circle. I dragged it to, uh, to be on top of my square. After, after that, what I went ahead and did is I changed the size of the circle to 0.90. Once I had changed the size of my circle and everything was the size I wanted, my square at 9.3 by 9.3, my circle at 0. 0. 0.90 by 0. 0.90, I went ahead, highlighted both, both shapes, I highlighted them, then I went to my slice button. Press slice right after you press your slice you go to where you can see what's going on the, the square and the circle and you go ahead and you you delete your slice results what I like to do so I don't end up deleting my my main project as well just what I want to delete is I come to where this the circle is and I'll press and then you you look at the very top and it'll say uh, you want to delete or whatever you want to do with it you press delete and then you press again and it'll show another little circle press delete again that those are your slice results results then you come back to the circle and if you don't see the circle highlight anymore that means it's done you already have your hole Okay, so we have this straight. Now, let's get into my letters. For my UTRGV, I went ahead and made this, the letters at 4.828 by 5.8. 079 then for my first offset I went at point one 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 my second offset I did the same point one 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 then what I did, I went to edit. I duplicated this offset. Once I duplicated it, I left this one green and my other one, I changed it to a desired color, a different color. One that would remind me that at the time of cutting, that was going to be my poster board. So this is my poster board. This is where I will be adding my lettering. 
Now let's get to class of 2023. For class of 2023, what I went ahead and did is my letters. First, I went to um, text and I typed in the word class. I pressed text again and I typed in the word of. I pressed text again and I typed in 2023. Once I had these three things typed, I went ahead and put my of under my class, my 2023 under my of. So I already had class of just like this. How did I get it not to move and just come all straight just to, for one word so I don't have to be moving or the words won't move or come out crooked? What I did is I highlighted, once I already had them aligned how I wanted them, I highlighted the whole thing, pressed Unite, and then Combine. Once you do that, it becomes one whole word. And this whole word, you can just go ahead and um, add it, put it on top of your, uh, of your square, and see if it fits well. I saw that it fit well, so I knew I could keep this um, this size that I had chosen. Actually, in reality, I had chosen it at 4.5 um, by 5.0. However, I remembered um, that I still have more space, so I went ahead and made it at the 4.8. and it worked so once you put it on top of the square you can either make it smaller you just drag it to make it smaller bigger but i don't think you can get any bigger than this because um if that does happen then your two will not come out or your three or it's just uh, the only the, the only one that might come out like the whole word would be class you're not going to get this so let's just do if you're going to make it, make this cap, just go by the measurements I already told you. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me and I'll be happy to make another video explaining um, anything that you may um, want to know. Okay, so once I un combined and united everything, I went ahead and um, uh, left it highlighted. And then I press 4.0 by 3.8 and it gave me this and then I I went ahead and uh, go went for offset my first offset I went ahead and set it at 0.153 my my second offset, I went ahead and set it at 0 0.69. So, and, well, the second offset, don't forget, you need to um, go to um, edit, duplicate, and change the color to one that you know that is already the poster board. In this case, the colors I always like to use when I'm going to use poster board. And if, of course, I'm, I'm not using the color, I'll, I'll always turn my, uh, my poster board into pink. So in this case, I went ahead and chose silver for the letters, green for my offset, and orange for my offset. And then for my poster board, I went, uh, after I had duplicated it, I went ahead and made it pink. So at the time I printed, I already knew that these were going to be vinyl, but the pink one is going to be um, poster board. Now, let's start putting these letters together. Please hold. Now that we have our transfer tape ready, um, we're ready to start layering see the size i went ahead and cut my transfer tape it's the size that i needed so it can take up the whole word 
the whole um, offset. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve squares this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten squares that way. So it'll be like a twelve squares by ten squares. Now you go ahead and, oh, this one tore. <laughs> My bad. Hold on. Okay, so we already have it. And what I like to do sometimes so that it's not way, way, doesn't have way too much power, I just kind of like rub it on my shirt so it can kind of lose, uh, be sticky, but not too, too sticky. Now, I go ahead and place it right on my, word, on my offset. And in this case, it's sticky, so I don't think I need my. There we go. See? Now, you can do this two ways. Either put this one on, place this one on top, and then press. Or you can just do it like this. I like to do it both ways, depending on what, what it is. Depending on what it is and how big the words are, is how I do it. So in this case, I'll do it like this. And there we have it. Now I peel it off carefully. this video so you don't have to be waiting for a long time now that we have this one ready we're ready to go for our first offset and we do the same sometimes it will stay so just do that See how it's staying, but I just go ahead and kind of hold and push. Now here, this is where I need to be standing up so I can see where. That's my second. We want to place it even. So we start seeing where the green is, and we start seeing that it's aligned. Then we go down slowly. And there we have it. And I will pause this video. Now that we have this one ready, we come to our words. And we do the same. to stand up again so I can get this right This one's ready. Now we get to our UTRGV and we do the same. I will pause this video and come back once I already have it so this video doesn't take long. 
Okay, so we already have um, our cutouts ready and something else that I'd like to tell you about these cutouts. Yes, you can make them at HTV on uh, heat transfer vinyl and will they look better? Oh yes, they will. Oh yes, they will. Um, if you haven't seen my video on how to do HTV vinyl on poster board, um, you're welcome to visit um, and look for it. And it's very easy, just layer the same way I did here, but it'll be um, HTV instead of the regular vinyl. Okay, so now that we already have our topper and we have our our um, cutouts now what we need to see is how much exactly how thick are we going to add the bling and that's if you want to add bling in my case you um, guys if you're my subscriber you know I love to bling things I, I just put bling on everything let me give you this choice you have choice number one cut it and just two your your mesh bling cut it into with two little bling thingies add very little glue very little glue and place only one of the lines one of the lines and I'll tell you why because when you you place it on top of your cap you'll have this the see where you can tell the white you can see the white and you can see and this is foam of course so it is uh, it is pretty thick if you use poster board this is how it'll look you could hardly see it so with foam you can see something with poster board you can but if you don't want to see the where the white meets the um, color of your of your cap then just go ahead and use one of the layers only and then this one the second one fold it down so that when you look at your cap you'll see that see and um, if you don't mind um, adding glue to your cap if you're if you just want to you know that you're gonna leave it like that then go ahead and add some glue and glue this and that's how your cap will be from around it'll have bling all around it I think that looks super cool in this case I'm going to be using this cap for all my other caps as a, as a sample so um, I will be adding the bling on top like this so I'm just going to add the glue and then add the bling glue bling glue bling glue bling please hold okay so now we're ready to start adding our bling and um, I went ahead and cut these strips at nine and a half inches so all I'm going to do is just um, add the glue and then the and then the bling align it I will go ahead and pause this.
Now we go ahead and add these. I will go ahead and add them and uh, I'm just going to add one on each corner. And that's how it'll look and now I we can go ahead and add the glue place it add the glue and place it you still have room here for uh, the student's name or to add more bling I'll leave it up to your imagination for now you already have the measurements and you already know how I made these cutouts and I already told you about um, your second option when it be when it comes to vinyl if I hope you like this video if you liked it please don't forget to leave me a like and if you're not yet my subscriber, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I post videos weekly and I'm always here to help anyone who may have any questions. So I'll see you guys till next time. Bye bye.